Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. We're out in Carlisle, Pennsylvania at the Carlisle events in the Chrysler National. And with that, I'm with Allison. So nice to meet you. And Dan, good to see you. And let me grab this now. Dan, you have your uh, uh, car here today. What did you bring today? It's a 68 Cornet Hemi RT. 68 Cornet Hemi RT. How long have you had it? 27 years. And why this car? Well, because uh, the Hemi bug bit me one, one time more than I could avoid, so I liquidated a bunch of inventory and two cars to get started with. And you got rid of that infection and now you have it from that Hemi pretty much, bug. Pretty much. <laughs> Allison, when you ride in Grandpa's car, what uh, what happens? Burnouts. <laughs> Come on right alongside me. Come on, Dan. Come right alongside me, right here. All right. And there we go. That looks amazing coming in your rear view mirror. So now, this car did not look like this. Come with me, Dan. So, how long was the restoration? I uh, probably have a good solid five or six years working steadily. Okay, so we're gonna take a look all the way back here. And that's a beautiful profile. Now, was the car straight? Was it kind of, we're gonna, we've got a picture of it, right? So let me do this. Let me feature some of the badging. Pull out the picture, if you would, please, in that photo album of what this car looked like at one point. The Magnum 500 wheels, those are uh, special to the car or stock to the car? Uh, they had, those are 15 inch, typically they would come with a 14 inch, but a Hemi had a 15 inch wheel on it, so I wanted 15 inch wheels on it that replicated what the 14 inch wheels would normally look like. Okay, show me what this car looked like. Give me a picture. Okay, here's a, a, a few of what it looked like that I got from Go back to owner, owner, owner number five. <laughs> had pictures of how this car looked in 88 when he owned it. Wow, and you've had it since 1990, okay. Yeah, yeah. And this one here always really shows how bad the car had burned in the fire. Notice the trailer hitch. Wow, all right, let's go right back to the car and look at the amazing work you've done. Let's take a look at the back end of the car. Now tell me what that is. Now that's the super, that's the scat pack emblem they used. This actually started in 1970. Uh, they had the scat pack, but they didn't actually put them on the cars. 1970, they started putting them on the quarter glass. Okay, let's take a look. Love the stripe around the back. And a real nice wide tail with a beautiful blacked in center piece there. Really sharp, right? Yeah, we like, we like the details. And we're at the right channel because I love those details too. Let's take a look in the, uh, we've got the bumper. Let's, let's take a look at this. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Let's take a look at the interior. Needs to be back up here. No, well you drove it, right? So I mean that's okay. Driving around here. We've got the white interior. Yeah, I wish brought back exactly the way the factory built it. The car was fairly heavily optioned in the beginning. So it was heavily optioned and you brought it back to the way it looked. Did it have that little RT badge there? Yes, it did. Oh, that's cool. What do they call that? The tick tock tack? Old wheel guys, I think they call it a tick tock tack, but Chrysler you know, has a name similar to that. I don't even call what it is. But okay. It's a tack and a clock. Tack and a clock. The ignition. The factory 8 track player was a very expensive option at its time. I think it was like $350 or something. And it, I had that restored, so that does work. Oh, really? It has an uh, iPod plug that I have in my console that I can plug into my phone or an iPad to play music if I want. <laughs> I want to just show, feature this for a second. Yeah, that's faded out quite a bit. That's actually the color of the car that was on that poster before the sun kind of heats heat them up. Watch out for the Dodge Fever. And while I have that, I have these here. You can see that stripe. There's the scat pack information. And there's the 
RT Coronet muscle car. All right. That's it's kind of a poster child because the color that they get in the brochure, you have one right there in front of you is, is either a blue or a turquoise. We don't know. It's kind of hard to tell the print. It looks great, doesn't it? Let's take a look under the hood, shall we? We actually had to take this hood apart. I split it, split the hood in two pieces because it was so bad. These are known for gathering mouse mice would make nests in here and then yeah. they would rot out on you. So I actually took a 69 hood and a 68 standard hood because I wanted to use the 68 understructure. This is slightly different than a 69, but it, that's the details again. Okay. So I separated the hood and cleaned it all up and painted because there's always no paint underneath the structure. So we wanted to get it all painted. Plus, it's easy to clean it all up and make it shiny oh, yeah. instead of there's so much overspray you would have in there otherwise. Well, this is kind of the big deal right here. Yes, it is. That's, that's the answer. And is this all the, uh, the original Hemi engine in this car? It's uh, not the original motor. It's uh, a but 68. It was a, it was a Hemi, of Hemi car with the Hemi engine. Yes. Uh, that, this engine came out of a 68 GTX originally. Got it. Well, let's start her up, shall we? I've been told by a lot of guys, I wish it was a little louder than that. Me too sometimes, but it's nice when you're talking to somebody, you can hear them. Yeah, it sounds great. Let's shut that down. We'll have you both stand next to the car. And the all-important R2 dash. Stand right next to it with, with your granddaughter. There. All right. Allison, what a treat to have you on the channel. Dan, such a great treat to have you too. Thanks so much for sharing your car with us. Thank you for showing it, showing it on your video. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.